Okay, welcome back to CIS 157. So we have um, our first homework, and we also have a couple of presentations to go over. Uh, first, I'd like to go back to NetBeans, which is uh, directly related to uh, the first homework. My icon is somewhere here on top of the screen, NetBeans 7, and I'm going to start it. Just a reminder that NetBeans is a, uh, official, our official IDE, Integrated Development Environment, which includes Java Compiler, which includes uh, graphical tools to, to develop and, and, and um, design your programs, and which also includes uh, a wonderful debugger. In addition to that, NetBeans is a pretty solid platform. You can use it with other compilers, not just Java. And you've probably seen it already on the website that you can download different kinds of bundles. Um, I told you probably before that uh, on my Linux laptop, I use NetBeans to compile my uh, C++ programs, and that uh, uses uh, um, open source compiler. So NetBeans is an extremely friendly platform and uh, I find it to be very convenient and uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, we said that before you can do anything meaningful, you need to establish a project. I believe we did, we did um, uh, create our project already uh, the first time. Let's see if I can find it first, but then we can also create a new project. So there are options to uh, create new project, which gives you more options. And those options include different types of projects that you can have. Again, you can read down here in the description what type of project and what it can do for you. It should be, you know, uh, understandable. Uh, but for the most, uh, in fact, the entire duration of our class, we're going to be working with Java application, uh, just a straightforward Java application semester. So instead of creating a new project, uh, right now I'm going to cancel it and, and, and go to file, open project, and try to locate the project uh, that maybe I already have, uh, which you should also be able to learn how to do because you have to do the same thing at home. As the homeworks progress, you create new project for each one. I would strongly recommend doing that. And, you know, you kind of start from scratch. Uh, on my D drive, um, I guess I will create a new project. I'm surprised that I don't see the Okay, moving right back, just create new project. Uh, oh, my. My bad. I have it on my portable drive. I apologize for this. Let's go to. Uh, let's see. I just realized that's what I did. So I'll wait for the drive to get ready, and when it says installing, and once it gets ready, I should be able to uh, jump right in. Project and Hello World was the first uh, project that I've created. Uh, and if I try to open it, it gets loaded here. And you can see the progress bar down down at the bottom that tells you what uh, uh, you know how far you are uh, opening. If you create a new project, just to be sure that uh, uh, you create, uh, uh, at this point, you, you, I would suggest that you do create uh, a main class, which is one of the uh, options uh, when you create your, your project. If you open an existing one, some of you may have it on your portable drive maybe from last week, 
Um, I have some source packages, which in, in this case, Hello World, and I have my Java program open. So I double click on it and it opens uh, uh, that uh, code that we seeing at the end of the class on Thursday. Here's something extremely important. I want you to be aware of, uh, uh, you know, if you go to um, your Explore, Windows Explorer window, if you're using Windows, and if you navigate into your project, uh, you should realize, and let me go here uh, to display So here's my portable drive. It's been assigned E letter uh, by the system and I plugged it in. I did create CIS 167 uh, subdirectory and underneath there is a NetBeans uh, project subdirectory and underneath there is a subdirectory named Hello, Hello World. NetBeans really doesn't create a file name uh, like some other environment, environment file, uh, a, a particular file with some kind of extension named after the name of your project. In my case, the, the, the type of project I created was Hello World. Instead, it's, a, it's actually a subdirectory somewhere on, a, on your you know, file system. And in my case, I just want to be aware where it is on my system. It is where I'm showing you. And what happens when you try to use the open dialog inside NetBeans and you point it to this particular subdirectory, it happily finds build.xml and the manifest file. And it opens them and it reads them and says, oh, okay, it's my project. It's my native NetBeans project. And that's how it knows where it is. But you have to be aware, especially aware, of uh, this SRC, the source subdirectory because that's where your Java files are located. Here it is, hello world.java, right? I can see it, of course, from the project uh, uh, panel uh, inside NetBeans, but I can still find it here. So you can, even though you have only one file today, you may be using a, a, a combination of files in your next project. And in that case, what I will be asking you to submit is this source, SRC, the easiest thing to do is perhaps install 7-zip uh, uh, or your, you know, some other archive utility on your system. And I particularly use 7-zip for any zip-related work. And uh, all you need to do is simply, um, oh, actually 7-zip is not in, in installed here. But uh, there should be an option to uh, to compress it, and I don't see it here. Uh, what am I going to see? Well, anyway, uh, I would say just right click. You probably can create a zip file at home. I I don't seem to have uh, any uh, any archiver utility installed here. Yes. Was that? Oh, send to is the right there. Oh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Compress zip folder. So let's try this. So if I create this source.zip, this is what I will be asking you to submit when we begin to work with uh, uh, with uh, projects that will consist of multiple source files. Um, in all of your uh, NetBeans projects, your source will be by default under SRC. So it's very easy to as long as you understand where on the file system your NetBeans stuff exists. So hopefully that's not too difficult to remember. If you have just one single Java file, you can upload that. But you still have to be able to find it and under SRC and whatever other subdirectories may, may exist. I will talk about the purpose of those subdirectories in a second. But this is the file that you would have to submit. I would want you to Click on this file, your Java file, and say upload, whatever that dialog box is in the upload application. Any questions about this? It's very important 
that you are aware of the actual corresponding directory or folder structure that exists on, the, on your file system that corresponds to uh, your uh, NetBeans project. Very important. If you experience any problems with this or you cannot find something, send me an email. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is that since I just created this src.zip without uh, uh, giving uh, much thinking to it, I think I will just uh, delete it because I don't want to confuse NetBeans with, with the presence of this file in this place. It just, you know, it probably is completely harmless, but that's my step. I'm just going to get rid of it. Unless I need it for some reason, I would prefer not to pollute, not to not to throw any junk in, in any of these subdirectories, because I'd prefer to keep it clean. Hopefully that, that uh, the purpose is, is understanding. All right, so now inside NetBeans, in our NetBeans, Let's take a look at the situation with um, what we have done and what we have ended up with. And what we have done was say file, new project, Java application, next. And on this screen, what I asked you to do was that do not use the default uh, folders or subdirectors, whatever you name them, location. Type in the location that you are aware of. You should probably have a drive, or maybe portable drive or a flash drive with your schoolwork, preferably creating subdirectories for each class that you take and including CIS 157. As you can see, um, I am using CIS 157 uh, on my portable drive, doing exactly what I want you to do. And over here, you know, also do not accept the full project name. Instead, type your own. Uh, for instance, if this was homework two related stuff, I would name it homework two. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Location of, of hopefully you can read it from my screen and hopefully the recording will add to it as well. So um, uh, regarding the location, I already have uh, CIS one but this is, I guess, on my D drive. Right? Uh, e and uh, it goes, goes ahead and prompts you down here on this line whether you want to create a main class, the class that becomes a runnable class, the first class that gets loaded when your program executes. And it gives you this a little cryptic. Every time I see this, I am not very happy about this fact that sometimes the names of projects can be a little cryptic. Like if someone doesn't know what it's all about, they could try start theorizing what HW2 stands for. Okay, I don't know. But um, uh, anyway, this is where it gets even, even worse. If you notice, it says create main class. It says HW2 dot uppercase HW2. I don't like these things for now just to make it more or less uh, uh, clear, I would say um, main app instead. Let me just do this and you will see the result. So I typically keep the first uh, piece before the dog, consistent with my project name, and you will see in a second that this is going to become a package name that will be assigned to our stuff that we are going to maintain in this project. Uh, but I would typically rename my main class to be something as main app. So altogether, hw2.main app. And then I click finish, and it's going to create a second project. Now observe the fact that because it's so bound to these uh, directories, what we have done is that we simply added another project to our project outline and we actually can jump around those two and we can work uh, uh, on them in parallel right so what I just did was create a brand new project 
choose, choosing Java application, and ended up with this, which is very similar to this, uh, but uh, I just removed some, some comments. So let me demonstrate what just happened this second time with creation of uh, this new project. 